How's it going guys? Happy Thursday. Welcome back to NASCAR 21 Ignition. Yes, I am on the wheel. I have my Fanatec CSL Elite uh, PS4 wheelbase on with the, uh, I have the smaller, I don't even know what the name of the wheel is called. It's like some old school uh, red leather wheel. Um, very similar. I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, Jeff Gordon's racing wheel when he was driving, it was kind of like this GT kind of style. So um, these are the racing wheels I like to use because it's just a lot smaller, more comfortable for me. So uh, we're going to go to Kansas because that is where they're racing this weekend and uh, I'm gonna showcase to you guys uh, just some of the differences between controller and wheel so if you've been watching my recent videos on the channel for the last few days about NASCAR 21 I've been using the controller on every single one of those videos whether it be the first gameplay one Daytona career mode all that has been on controller uh, we know the the steering assist issues on controller and all that um, so today essentially I'm gonna showcase you guys what's going on with the wheel and because um, a lot of you guys do want to know about wheel support we'll go through that right now as well real quick want to give a shout out to all the patrons uh, patron supporters for always supporting the channel thank you guys so much for watching and brian twinning is the new patreon member so shout out to you buddy thank you so much for supporting the channel well, let, let's get into it uh and let's talk about uh wheel support so if you go to controls and you go into wheel device. Uh, we'll s scroll through these if your wheel is on here, just you know, in case you want to know. These are the wheel devices that are compatible with the game so far. So I have it set on Fanatec CSL PS4 um, and just running a few laps, everything seems to work uh, as it should. Uh, Xbox is on here, CSR Elite, CSR Wheel, and I'll just quickly go through these. You guys can read through them. Um, the, the new wheelbase, the, the DD wheelbase uh, is compatible here, so you can use that. Um, the Porsche 3. So, yeah, I'll just go through them. I'll go through all of them until we get back to the Fanatec. So, if your wheel is here, guys, um, then it is compatible. If it's not here, then uh, it is not. Just quickly pause if you see your wheel or anything, um, or if you don't see your wheel. It does go in alphabetical order. So, if you know the name of your wheel and it's not there, just pause it. And if you don't see it, then it's not compatible. But um, to me, it looks like there are about. Um, 15, 20, 25. I mean, I just started on PS4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 40, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 28, 29, 30. There's about 35. There's about like around 35 wheels that are compatible with it. I know there's a lot of different steering wheels out there, so there probably are some that are not compatible at launch. That's very important to say. Um, you Most games, most racing games, um, usually have a lot of wheel support. Remember guys, this is a brand new game, brand new base, everything. So if your wheel isn't compatible, uh, what I would do is uh, probably message Motorsport Games on Twitter or something, email, something like that, um, and just let them know. Uh, and I know for a fact that the developers are constantly trying to get more wheel support uh, in the game if your wheel is not uh, supported. But let me make sure I, I kept it there. Okay, so Fairtex CSL PS4. Now, well, another thing, on controller, the biggest thing on controller that you want to do with the steering assist at the moment because you can't turn it off, is you want to put it on medium. But on the wheel, what I have uh, seen or learned from just the few laps I've done, is that low is actually where I want to go with the steering assist, and we'll showcase that in a second. Um, another thing, none of, uh, so this is another thing that's a little bit unfortunate, life uh, or quality of life things. So I have the universal Xbox hub, which gives me all the buttons and stuff that usually are compatible with most racing games. Um, right now, the game is not compatible uh, in terms of like the wheel buttons. So like the B and the A and the X and the Y and all the buttons on this wheel right now don't navigate the menu. I'm using my keyboard and my mouse. You can see my mouse right here. I'm using my keyboard and my mouse to navigate the menu. Now, when I was in uh, going into the race for the first time, I realized that even in the race, the buttons are not mapped so you can't change your camera or look left or right or something on the wheel if you know what I mean so we'll talk about that when we get into the race uh, but for now we're gonna go ahead and do a race uh, let's go ahead and change the settings here we're gonna do uh, practice qualifying race because I want to go I want to go through the garage area at Kansas in case any of you guys know it and we'll see uh, what it's like we'll do 40 drivers I'm gonna go back to, to clear skies I actually don't like overcast skies the one the the only issue I have graphically about this game because the graphics are fantastic across the board is that uh, overcast skies are it's not overcast like the clouds are dark and it looks like it might rain but the sun is still peeking out. It's like it's like Florida in 4:30 on a summer in July. Like that's essentially what it looks like. The sun still is still out. There's still the sun on the track. 
but it's not really overcast. I want it to be where the clouds cover everything, even the sun, and it gives that overcast look. So overcast is not technically really overcast, so that's why I would always recommend going to clear or to partly cloudy skies. Um, I put 89 degrees for the road course race, and I couldn't really tell if there was much of a difference or not. So uh, I, I don't know. I can't really tell. But we'll, we'll put it at 89 again for Kansas. So maybe if the track is hot, I don't really know what will happen. We'll leave NASCAR rules on. We will leave tire wear and fuel consumption on, and we'll just see how it works um, with all that. Let's apply changes. I think it would be enter. There we go. Now for the driver. Uh, I've used Kyle Larson, I've used Chase Elliott, I've used Daniel Suarez, and now I'm gonna th close my eyes and pick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know who I'm gonna pick, but it's somewhere in a low number. Corey LaJoy. Okay, that's who we're using, guys. We're gonna use Corey LaJoy. Does he have a different paint scheme? Oh, it's with the right stick on the mouse. Okay, I got it. So this is his uh, alternate paint scheme for all you Corey LaJoy fans. Youth Theory. Are you stressed? Then go to Youth Theory, or U Theory. Go to Youth Theory at Ash Wagenda. What are these sponsors nowadays? I don't even know who, what this is. What is this? Ash Wagenda with a smiley face on the quarter panel. All right, guys, let's go to the race. Uh, 3 p.m., Kansas, 89 degrees. This is another bug, guys. I'm stuck. I'm going to have to close the game. Um, sometimes I just get a very nice interior of my car. So uh, we got to close the game. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I had to make a little adjustment. Uh, we are no longer driving as Corey LaJoy. We're driving as Tyler Reddick, uh, and we're not in a practice session. We are in qualifying. So there's apparently a pretty bad bug right now. I already uh, I just put some feedback to it to the to the developers. Um, it, just, it, it you can't practice. I don't know. The, it won't let me. Um, there's a, you know, a glitch or something. So, yeah, we're going to go straight to qualifying, but don't worry. I'm still going to still gonna work on some things uh how do i get i just want to make sure all my si okay so interesting this is new i've not noticed this okay so you could tell steering is off guys steering assist right here is off it's because i have the wheel on okay so if you want to play this game i highly 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 recommend that you try to play it with a wheel um, it looks like I had it on low in the menus, but it looks like it is off because I have the steering wheel. So that is something that I have just seen. Um, so that is good. Make sure you have a keyboard near you though, cause that's going to be something that's also important. Uh, I'm going to check everything else. Everything's good. Uh, just need to get this fixed as well so I can continue running on high settings, but it is what it is. Okay. So now you, you can see I'm in the, oh, yo, yo, oh, oh, what's going on here? Okay, I don't know what happened. Oh, did I accidentally have the wheel turned all the way to the left? Wait, what is going on? Okay, I accidentally had my wheel turned all the way to the left, guys. My bad. <laughs> it's just, I, I had it rotated completely wrong. But, um, all right. So, if you want to change cameras, you have to do it on the keyboard. Okay, just some, some points for now. I can't press the buttons on my wheel. It has to be on the keyboard. It's, uh, key V. If you press the letter V on your keyboard, that's how you change cameras. Now, what I want to do right now is I want to go into the garage area. I'm not sure if I can do it in qualifying. I can do it in practice, but I don't know if I can do it in qualifying. So let's see if we can. Here it is. Just try to scoop my way in there. And yes, we can. Okay. And you look left and right with the, uh, the, the arrows on your keyboard. So guys, let's take a visit around, uh, can't, let's go to the back if we can. Yes, we go pretty deep in here. Okay. But we're disqualified. It's all right. We know we're faster in the long run. What? The, I, I was... I, uh, hold on one second. <laughs> all right, guys. Don't you worry. I turn, I went to the main menu real quick, and I turned off NASCAR rules. So I should not be getting black flagged for this. No! I have NASCAR way. rules off. Stop it. I just want to go visit the garage. See, look, look. I want to visit my friends. Look, we have all... Everyone's here. Look at all my friends. Hello, guys. How's it going, everyone? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> What's up? All right, guys, if you've been to Kansas, is this what the infield looks like in the garage area? You, can you let me know? I'm going to go back this way. It's going to disqualify me any second. I'm almost very, I'm very positive it will. I'm going to go this way. And let's say hello to all of our friends here. Hi, guys. How's it going? All right. 
And let's see. This is where it disqualified me last time. Was right. He oh, wait. Hold on. All right. This is where it disqualified me last time. So can I go back here? Yes, I can. Okay. Here are all my other friends. Why are you guys in a garage area by yourselves? What? What? What is this? You guys are so lonely back here. Hi, everyone. Yeah. I feel like this You're is the Xfinity garage. I feel like these are two separate garage areas. I feel like all the cup guys should be over there. And these are the Xfinity, the, the Xfinity garage area? Maybe? I don't know. Can I go over here? No, I cannot. All right. So we cannot go back there. Let's go back. Ooh, can I go for gas? The Sunoco? Nope. Can't do that. <laughs> Just do a burnout. Ooh. Oi. Oi. Okay. And oi. Oi. Don't crash in anyone. Hold on. Trying to catch it. All right. And we drive out and we're back on pit road. That is so cool. I'm gonna do that at every single track we go to. <laughs> I'm Alex Hayden and we're here in Kansas for the second race of the round of eight. These eight playoff drivers are starting to feel the pressure to perform with only two races to put themselves through to the championship four. A win or strong finish could be crucial for those chances, especially with the uncertainties of the paperclip coming up next. ready to get the cars rolling and the green flag in the air. Now let's get the race underway. All right, guys, let's go to the race. I am no longer Corey LaJoy. Like I said, I am Tyler Reddick, <laughs> which is <coughs> not bad because we're at Kansas and we're going to probably be running the top. Um, I've not run many laps. I think I've run a total of two laps around Kansas. So all right, what camera do I want to use when I'm with the wheel, though? That's that's something um, to be honest with the wheel. I, this cockpit view, guys, is not bad. This cockpit view is actually pretty good. I could definitely see people using it a lot. Uh, obviously, roof cam is one of my favorites. Uh, we got chase view. We'll just run chase view for now because I know it's probably everyone's most common view because you also get to look at everything. But I will say running chase view with a, uh, with a wheel is very odd. Uh, but let's go run the top. And you can run the top here. I don't know if it's faster. To be honest, I wouldn't really expect it to be faster. Not with this package. Um, you kind of need to stay in the draft. So we'll see. I can't go full throttle. Nope. I went on the bottom there and I went full throttle and I couldn't do it. So that's something that needs to be taken note of. We need to find the line. It's probably, look at the pack up there. They're going like two wide, three wide. Meanwhile, we're back here. I can go full throttle if I arc it, but at the moment, the AI are on extreme difficulty and I can't keep up. So that's interesting. And I've lost the draft. Guys, this is extreme difficulty. I can't keep up and I'm going full throttle. So uh, I think for some of you guys that were worried about it not being hard, it, it looks pretty hard to me. I mean, yeah, I'm, I can't keep up. I'm going to restart and see if I can stay with the pack. All right, yeah, staying in the draft, guys, is very important. Like extremely. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know anyone was below me. Spotter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I had no idea someone was below me, guys. I had no idea. I thought I was clear. So, yeah. All right. Restart again. <laughs> All right, I feel like I'm gonna need to know where people are. So I, I think guys running in that dash view is probably best with a wheel, but uh, because I just wanna see where people are, we're gonna run in the chase view. And staying in the draft is very important. Uh, as soon as I lost the draft, I was screwed. If you look at the bottom right of the screen, we're already going way, way faster in the draft. So that is something uh, just to note. You definitely want to be in the draft and you have to lift a little bit at Kansas when you're running the bottom. See how I slide right up and I'm, I'm, I'm actually you know, blurping the throttle a good amount there. So I'm going to try and run the middle to the top uh, and see if I just, I actually need other people to go with me. So I'm actually going to try and run the middle. I'm putting a lot of wheel into it. You can look how much wheel input I'm putting in there. And it's, uh, I was full throttle. I don't really know if I'm scrubbing off a lot of speed, but was, hey, wait, I'm trying to stay in the draft. You little twat. Come on guys. These AI are fast. I mean, it's lap four and look, I'm still in last place. Essentially. I'm in 39th. I can't move up. I'm I'm wide open. I'm wide. I'm just putting a lot of wheel into the car. <laughs> Holy crap! It is tight. Uh, yeah, it's very tight. Um, I might have to lower the difficulty. I cannot go anywhere, and that pack is looking very scary. Look at it. It is two wide, three wide, all the way through. I'm gonna try to go full throttle bottom, and that was a bad idea. Wow. I mean, I actually made up some time, but I I completely destroyed Kurt Busch. Uh, oh my god, that was close. 
This is... I feel like I am destroying my right front tire with the amount of wheel I'm putting into it, but we're three wide now. No, oh, Denny! They're disqualifying us. Wait, disqualified? Why am I disqualified? What did I do? Why did, why did I get disqualified? I got turned by Denny Hamlin! Ah, oh, you can't touch Denny Hamlin. Is that what it is? You can't touch him. He's the, he's, he's the golden boy, which is actually Chase Elliott. But still, I got murdered head on into the wall. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, it doesn't matter, guys. I need to um, I need to lower the difficulty because, wow, that is hard. I'm going to make one change. We're going to go to a looser race car. Uh, should I go fully loose? I don't want to go fully loose. We're going to go one click to the loose side. Uh, exit. Did that save? I just want to make sure it's saved. Uh, car setup. No, wait, how do you save it? At boom, boom. Then do I go previous screen? How do I go to the previous screen? I don't know. All right, guys, it doesn't look like I can save the setup. So that's another bug that I think they need to fix. Cause every time, look, every time there's nowhere to get out. So I, I switch there and there's nowhere to save. I'm pressing everything on my keyboard. Uh, yeah, there's nothing. So it looks like we have to stick with the stable setup. So that's another bug. Hopefully they can fix that. Um, so let's stick with that. I did lower the difficulty. So let's see how that does. All right. I lowered the difficulty and I shortened the, la the laps. I went to 40 laps because I would like to complete a race. But uh, hopefully we don't get disqualified this time. And uh, let's see how we do. I, I just really want to race. This camera view is so good, man. If I just had a little mirror on the top, this is the view I would use. And I could actually listen to the guys around me. But it's when, see right here, I can't, I can't see where Corey LaJoy is, so, and I don't really, I don't trust the spotter, to be honest, I ain't trusting him, that's definitely not happening, uh, alright, this feels a little bit better, it looks like the AI are a little bit slower, which is good, I have them on champion difficulty now, because extreme was way too extreme for me, I could not deal with that, so let's try to maneuver our way through the field, and I'm gonna go run the top, because I feel I can get away with it now, and I'll let you guys know if you can do it, meh. I had to lift a little bit. I was sliding up. So uh, I, I want to use the looser setups because I feel like I'm way too tight on the right front tire. But I will say, guys, this is still infinitely better than using a controller. So uh, using a wheel is definitely the way to go while my spotter goes crazy telling me I'm three wide. I definitely know I'm three wide. I'm just going to use the Tyler Reddick line and stay up here. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm going to do. I think I have learned in my short time on this game, don't go middle three wide. That is not a smart move. Either go high or go low, but never go in the middle. So that's what I'm going to do. Kozlowski knows I'm there, but he, he, he didn't he didn't really allow me to get the spot, but I liked how he tried to pinch me to the wall. That was good. And now we're full throttle here, staying in the third lane. Car's pretty stable. And I'm going to squeeze my way through there. Stay in the draft of Bowman. They check up a little bit. And now we go back. Ooh. I'm fighting the wheel a good amount. You can tell there's no steering assist. Ah, oh my God. <laughs> I don't think you get much closer to the wall than that. Yeah. Oh, see? All right. Guys, this actually feels pretty fun. Um, I think I just want to run the looser setup. If I can actually run it, I think it would be a little bit more fun. But at the moment, this is not bad. This is not bad at all. I like it. This is improvements. I'm just going to continue running up here. No one else is running up here. Hello, Denny Hamlin. You got me disqualified last time. Ooh, boy. All right, so I have to lift just a little bit in one. There we go. Able to get a good run through there. Oh, that's not good. 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 Ah, you're doing so well, man. That's my fault. I got on the wall. Ah, but as you can tell, even the wrecks are more realistic because you don't have steering assist trying to control your car everywhere. Damn it. Ah. All right, guys, we are back on lap three. I'm trying to migrate my way through the field on the bottom. Running the bottom and the top is very different. On the bottom, you have to lift a little bit. Um, on the top, you can go full throttle, essentially. Uh, there's one little bug with the AI that I'm noticing in the trial. Uh, uh, every time they cross the start-finish line, they check up just a little bit. So that's just a bug with the AI. Hopefully that can get fixed a little bit. Um, let's try. I'm going to go back to the top. I'm having a lot of fun running the top, so I'm just hoping that they give me the room to run up here. It doesn't look like anyone's running up here, so I'm just going to do it myself right by the wall. Three and four, you can definitely rip the wall. I'm obviously giving myself a little bit of space because I've never been the type of person that likes running the wall. I'm more of a bottom feeder. But you see, right, right past the start, finish line, the AI check up a little bit. Uh, and then one and two, you have to kind of be a little bit more careful, lift a little bit more. And we're, okay, oh boy, I got to check up. I don't want to get wrecked. We're right next to Denny Hamlin again. It gets really tight up here. Holy crap. All right, let's see where Kurt Busch goes because he's forced up top. 
So let's see if he's going to run. I'm going to try and scoot. Nope, nope. We're going to stay behind Kurt. And, oh, two. The spotter is going into his wrap again. Three, two, three, 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 two, three, 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 two. All right, we're going to go four wide. Heck with it. Hopefully this works. Oh, God. This is not going to work. This is not going to work. This is not going to work. No, it worked. They gave me room. They gave me room. Hold on. Oh, my God. Oh my god, get away from that, get away from that. Yeah, three, 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 two, three, 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 two, three, 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 two, three, 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 two, three, 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 three. Oh, three, 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 two, three, 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 three. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Don't worry about it. Just just run in the wall. We're fine. We're fine, man. Alright, we're almost towards the front of this pack. I just gotta go a little bit more. And there we go. Around these guys. Alright, remember, this is not the hardest difficulty. This is champion difficulty, not extreme. On extreme, I couldn't do anything. So, uh, that's, uh, th this is a difficulty less. Um, I would say this is probably, this is more fun. Um, not as challenging, but definitely more fun. Although, I'm not sure how I'm going to catch those guys up towards the front. Look at, there's a group of three or something all the way up at the front. Uh, that's a little bit weird. Uh, again, the AI checking up in the tri-oval. That probably has to get fixed there. But we're going to migrate our way all the way to, where are we? We are going to be in, this is fourth. Chase Elliott's in fourth, so... We're going to go ahead and try to... There's no drafting benefit. I can't push him around the track, so I'm just going to go right around him. And we'll try to run down the leaders ourselves as a lone wolf. So let's see if we can do it. And now with no one around me, I can go into the dashboard cam. <laughs> All right, we're going to test the lap times now. You can see I'm right by the wall now. So this is fun. Okay, so I'm going to run one lap up top, guys. And then I'm going to run one lap on the bottom. And now uh, we'll compare the two. So here's a, here's the lap up top. Hopefully I don't screw it up. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of room because I don't I don't want to mess it up. So just note that there is definitely some trial and error here. And the error part is how you know bad the driver is because me I am bad. Uh, but for the better guys, you guys can probably run the top and probably be faster. But we will see. So right, it, it's definitely more comfortable up here. I'll say that it's it's uh, more comfortable up on the top than it is on the bottom. So that lap is a 32.253. Okay, now we're gonna run a lap at the bottom. So here we go at the bottom where you gotta lift a little bit. You can see I start sliding up from center off and we'll see if this lap is better. Again on the bottom, right here. Uh, again, you can go full throttle but you slide up off of the debanking on the bottom. And I don't think I have any draft, I might, but is this lap faster? It is 31, what is that? 31,895. So it does still look like by yourself the bottom is faster, um, which is a little bit disappointing, uh, but also not surprising. I'm going full throttle. I think I think if you made the bottom a little bit tighter and like it made it, it forced you up the track a little bit more, then um, the top would be faster. But it's there's not too much in it. I mean, actually, no, there is a good of it. There's like four tenths, but we'll, I don't know. I, to me, it's more comfortable to run the wall. If you run the bottom, it's a lot tighter. So it's, it's really up to you guys. Uh, I've caught these guys, and I lo it looks like we're going to pass them. Uh, so here we go, right around there. Ooh, I'm getting tight. Hold on. I need to I need to see where they are. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Okay. Am I clear? Am I clear? I'm clear. There we go. Look back. All right. We're going to get the lead here. And there's the pass. Beautiful scenes. Okay. New leader. You can definitely run right by the wall, guys. There's no There's no real issue in it. You can definitely do it. So that's good news. It's just, I don't think it's, just, it's, it's faster, but look, look how close. I'm going to see if I can get, ooh, look how close I am to the wall. Look at that. Look at that. I'm literally right by it. <laughs> so you can't really get much closer. Actually, no, you can get closer. I'm, I, yeah. Again, I'm not good. Oh, hello. Hello, wall. Hi. Hi, wall. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, I'm in it. Oh, no, no, no. See, that's what I mean with no steering assist. I got on the wall just a little bit, and off I go to the inside wall. Damn it. That's a good job. That's a good job? What do you mean, spotter? I just crashed the car. Uh, but guys, that was fun. That was fun. You can definitely drive in, uh, or what is it called? You can definitely run up by the wall. You can definitely do it. Um, whether it will be faster, I don't know. We'll see with custom setups, hopefully, later down the line, and... And what it was, what it's like online, we don't know. But uh, in terms of driving experience, you can do it. Uh, unfortunately, I crashed. So uh, and when I slapped the wall, without the steering assist, uh, you spin out. So like I said, what? Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, that's not good. 
Uh, just one thing I still wish I had was feedback. Guys, there just isn't a lot of feedback in the wheel. Just like controller, there's I can't really feel a lot through my hands. Um, which is which is what I need in order to save a loose race car. I need to be able to feel it a little bit more. Uh, but let's see what my pit crew does. I'm going to run over the, the, water, the bottle of water. Oh, that's unfortunate. One thing that has been fixed, guys, is the lap counter. If you look at the lap counter on the dash, it says lap 20. It, there was a bug where every time it would only say lap 1. So that's been fixed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this race and just see what happens. I want to see if the AI pit or if there's a caution at any point. Uh, essentially, that's what I'm just going to do real quick. We still have halfway to go. Still inside. Still inside. Clear, clear, clear. I just got wrecked. <laughs> I was I was on lap 33, and Al Anthony Alfredo just wrecked me. Bruh, I can't believe this. All right, Mr. Reddick, I think the car has gone through enough. Uh, we're going to ask you to bring it into the garage area. I want to see if I can bring it into the garage area. I'm going to miss the entrance of pit road and then just try to see if it lets me. It does. All right. So, lads, we're going to the garage area. We're done. We're done. All right. Let me, uh, where's my, where's my stall? Uh, Tyler, well, let's just pick a stall. All right. We're going to go down here and let's pull it in. There we go. All right. And pull it in a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, what, what's going on? Oh, there's a little, it was like an invisible wall right here. Okay. So lads, we are in the garage area. We are done for the evening. Uh, and yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. So what did we learn? Um, well, oh, let me get to a... There, there, I'm in my cockpit. Okay, so what did we learn? Play the game on a wheel. No steering assist if you do that. Um, the, you can run the wall at Kansas. I don't think it's faster, but it's definitely more comfortable. You can definitely run the wall, and it's definitely a lot of fun up there. Uh, there are still a lot of bugs, obviously. Like, I can't use a different setup at the moment. I can only use the one in the middle. Um... The AI, uh, well, on champion difficulty, they felt a little bit too easy, but on extreme, I couldn't keep up. But I think extreme is the right difficulty. I just have to be able to use a looser setup. I think it was, if I was able to use a looser setup, I would have been able to stay full throttle more and um, be able to keep up with the pack. So uh, it's definitely not a fact that the game's too easy. It's actually that the, the hardest difficulty was too hard. I had actually lowered it down. And then um, the other difficulty was too easy. So unfortunately, we don't have like the 105 to 80 slider. Um, so we kind of got to pick one of the two. And so for now, I want to get better so I can run extreme. Um, but I just think I need a different setup. Uh, other than that, uh, I had fun. Obviously, with no steering assist, when someone hits you, like if someone hits you in the rear, you ain't saving it. Like it's it's uh, you're going for you're going around. Like there is no saving it, which is definitely very realistic um, and good. So, like, essentially, if, so, if someone hits you in your quarter panel or you hit someone in their quarter panel in the middle of the corner, uh, there is no saving the car. Like, you are going around, which I like. Um, it, it adds consequences to the racing, and uh, it, it definitely makes it more realistic. In the end, at this moment, guys, there's still definitely a lot of potential here. I know you guys don't like hearing that word, potential. But uh, graphically and physics-wise, with the wheel... Um, Obviously, I would like more feedback in the wheel. I don't, I don't get enough feedback at the moment, but I, I would definitely like more feedback in the wheel. And uh, other than that, I think, I think there's, there's some, some, some good stuff here. It's just we got to kind of work on it, fix it up, and, and get it better. I will be back with you guys tonight for another career mode episode. Um, so subscribe if you're new. I think we might hit 60,000 subscribers by the time this goes up. So uh, if it did, I want to thank you guys so much. For 60,000 subscribers, that is a massive milestone. And I will see you guys later. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. Comment down below what you think. See you guys later. Peace out.